around a million now Had to go around the world, make sillies now If my head in the clouds fall down on a million now Had to go around, I ain't sitting down till I got it figured out Focus on to my channel So, let me cruise on through here I thought I'd do a little driving vlog since I've not run a couple of errands, you know what I'm saying? And um, I want to come on, I want to talk about something really quickly I, want to, I wanted to kind of speak on a couple of people um, while I'm here. Hopefully you guys can hear me over this this AC. Um, for one, I wanted to speak on Miss Muffin. I want to say that, first of all, lady, while you're trying to play victim, I can't stand someone that plays victim. I can't stand it. Own up to what you say and what you do. And be a woman about it. You're too old. You're too grown for that. You are not a victim. Okay, you lost your son. No one over here has ever said anything bad about you losing your son but at the same time losing a child does not give you the right to be a total <laughs> and i'll bleep that out but you're a total <laughs> okay um for no reason like you're taking things personally when all you have to do is roast have fun and keep on going instead of making this your life like francois has done this is her life that's why it drives her so crazy same thing with lena lena it's like so like she can say what she wants to say she can curse somebody i'll call them every name in the book but god forbid you say anything about her and she wants to all of a sudden well not all of a sudden that's just who she is she wants to be an <laughs> muffin you are not no one brought you out of character no one in this world can bring you out of character it is who you are you're an <laughs> that's just who you are you're a total <laughs> that's who you are okay just it is what it is you are a um, a total one like you don't know how to just react talk about people roast them laugh and go from there no instead you want to be angry and upset all the time and acting to like a total ass like straight up um why because you're a bitter old bitty you're a bitter old <laughs> that's what you are i just want to say that i'm so sick of people playing victim like stop being a victim all these people that we've spoken about on cloud chasers or on our own personal channels are people that have come for us first okay Nae, when she came cursing us out she came for us first she spoke on when we were um going back and forth with fran the first time and if you put yourself in it and we feel like adding you to the roster that's what's gonna happen so that's what happened she got mad we said that she was catfish you were laughing having a good time and she gets mad and she's talking about she wants us to, she wants to kill us and she tells us that we should kill our family we should kill our mothers for making us, and we should kill our grandmothers as well while we're at it, is what she said. She said she would take a flight, and now she's um, now she's threatening Zolo. I never heard Zolo threaten her. I've never seen a video on it. I've never seen a clip on it. But now she's talking about she has a gun that she wants to threaten him with. And she takes things so personal. I, and the thing is, is what she said, she has no concrete proof that he threatened her because she said, I heard that he threatened me. Well, you can't go by hearsay. Speaking of hearsay, let's talk about Yanni Bonnie B really quickly. We've never spoken ill on her. Okay, we haven't. Think about me though, because this was brought to me, uh, brought at me. She was upset saying that she heard that I said some things about her. I have not spoken about Yanni Bonnie B since after she gave birth to her baby. Like just after she gave birth to her baby, she was doing her workout thing. And I was like, go Yanni. When people were trying to make fun of her, I was like, good for Yanni. You know, she just had her baby. She's doing her workout thing. Good for her. You can do it. Go for it. Last thing I've ever said about Yanni Bonnie B, I've never thrown shade at Yanni. I've never said anything about Yanni until after she came for me. People tell she came for me and she was cussing me out. I'm like, what is going on? Like, I haven't even said anything about you. Like, people go by hearsay but what a lot of it is because what it is these people don't like us anyway so anyone can tell them anything and it will get it's not that people don't like y'all anyway <clears throat> i see you're sitting here doing exactly what you said that you don't like you're sitting up here playing the victim you're a piece of shit quinn and so is your mother you sit up there and you talk about people but you don't want nobody to talk about you that's fact and you look a mess like, right now. How you sitting up here calling people out they named you little retarded ass troll? Bitch, are you dumb? The route up. And what they don't like about... Oh, it's foggy over here. What they don't like about us is that... I'm sorry about this quality now. It is so foggy. And it's not even... I think it's because of the angle. Um, wow, I don't like it. 
um, what it is is these people like us don't like, like us as it is, so they can hear one little thing, and they go by hearsay. See, we go by facts. We go by what people post, what they put in their videos, what we can see. We don't go by hearsay. You you don't go by facts. You go by your opinion. You go by what you think you know. You go by what you think people life should be. That don't make it fact. So we not even going to sit up here and lie like that. Come on now. You got a lot of fucking nerve. I can't believe she did this video. Like, I'm flabbergasted, bitch. Say, sorry, not sorry. That's not what we're going to do. Um, we go by our opinions, how we feel about something, how we feel about a situation, how we feel about that person in that situation. That's what we go by. We don't go by, oh, someone said this. And if someone does bring there's a lot of things that were brought to our attention. Um in our DMs, and emails, but if we don't have proof of that, if they didn't send us a video that shows that they said something, and I can't go find that video, that link, go through the link, or look at the video, go find it, and find that that person, yes, did say something, I'm not speaking on that situation, because there's no concrete proof that they said anything, and then I'm just going to look stupid, and that's how these people look. When Yanni spoke with me, she looked straight up dumb, because I never said anything. Same with uh, Mother. Lies. You're lying. The reason why Yanni came at you was because you posted that picture of her. You are so fucking childish, yo. Look at her face. You're a clown. <laughs> You're a clown. I cannot take this whole seriously. Like, this is too much. Like, what? Like, she's doing good. Like, she's saying this stuff like she's on an amazing path in life. And she's not. Muffin just came out of nowhere. I guess Francois recruited her because that's what she does. You're a liar. People. You're he a liar. No, she did not come out of nowhere. See, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. You don't pay attention to the bullshit that your funky ass mother do. Your funky ass mother decided to put her on her regular page. And talk about how she look. Because she wishes to God that she looked half as good. Because she's ugly. In spirit and in looks. You hoes are touched. Okay? Especially you. Because you won't take the fucking hair out. You just keep cutting it. I know that shit stank. I know that yarn in your hair stank. I know it. Between the cigarette smoke and the motherfucking um, watered-down beer you and your motherfucking man be drinking, I know for a fact that them fucking braids stink. And don't lie, bitch, because I got proof you smoke. Huh? People, by the way. Um to help fight, I guess, her battles, and all of them fail regardless. Um, so, I'm just like, these people are so freaking stupid, like, they make no sense to me, but, um, I think that's pretty much all I want to talk about. Um, oh, let me just throw Cherokee in there as well. Cherokee, hi, how you doing? You blocked me forever ago, so your message didn't even come up. I saw a piece of your message, I clicked on it, it said it was not available, I couldn't read it, um, because you blocked me a long time ago, when honestly, I thought we were all okay, but... Cherokee's a huge follower too. Cherokee wants to be liked. Cherokee wanted to pretend that she was ratchet like these people as well. You know, like when um You know what I find funny? The fact that Quinn almost puts herself on a pedestal. Um, for no reason, actually. It's it's the most annoying fucking thing because you know she's trifling. And you know that she's full of shit, okay? I wouldn't take anything this woman says personally. I'm telling you. Because she's slow. She follows everything Jackie says. She thinks Jackie does no wrong. Don't let this woman get on your nerves, love. Look at that face. Who would get mad at that face? Say something about them. Please. Since you have a record. You're a man beater. You're an alcoholic. You live in a trailer. <laughs> you can't talk about no fucking body. And as long as your stupid is, is around here talk about people, I'm going to be on you. Now, you can say what you want about me. I really don't give not one fuck. But I'm going to continue, how because you seem not to get it. 
You're a tragic, wretched ass mess. Nobody care about your opinion. I hope you don't think that. Girl, bye. That's why you mess with all those older women. That's why you do that. Because you know they ain't got the time to be coming to beat your ass. That's why you mess with them like that. What's your fixation on older women? What is your problem? You wish to God you could get to those ages and still look good, bitch. Because you look a mess right now. You have a lot of nerves, Quinn. A lot of them. You don't address your own shit but want people to address this? You still haven't said anything, but you have all the smoke for everybody else. Girl, <laughs> I can't believe she made this fucking video. Like, I'm, I'm fucking flabbergasted, bitch. You really took your time and made this video. Like, who, girl, I'm telling you, I am telling you, leave people to fuck alone. Because you gonna run into the right motherfucker and they gonna beat your ass, bitch. You could talk all that this just for entertainment and all of that if you want to. But some people don't play like that. Some people do not play when it comes to them, their kids, their situations. They don't play. And your ass is going to end up fucked up. Because of the simple fact that you don't know how to close your fucking mouth. And remember, this is YouTube. The same way y'all talk about people, other people could talk about y'all. Y'all hoes ain't exempt. You or Schmeagol. And they know, like, <laughs> I just find this so funny how y'all want people to stop talking about y'all as if y'all don't talk about everybody and their fucking mama. Girl, miss me with the bullshit. Miss me. Your makeshift door on your trailer hole. You tried it. All the ratchet ass shit you running around fucking doing with that hillbilly ass nigga you got. You got the nerve to talk about somebody? This man probably don't even have no real job. He probably be going out there to go chill with his motherfucking boys while y'all ass record and could pretend that he got a job. Miss me. Now, listen, let me know how you feel about this down in the comments. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to hit that notification bell so you know when I post out. Oh, and so I know it's real. Make sure you drop those purple hearts down in the comments. But yeah, I got to go. So, later for new. Bye. I'm